Hi, I'm Carrie Hummingbird, and today I want to talk about resiliency. When you experience something in your life that sends you into a state of panic, how quickly can you get back to a sense of peace? There's lots of factors in our society that can send us into panic. For example, money. Feeling like there's a lack of money in your life can send you into a big panic, right? Because your security is being threatened or your perceived security is being threatened. So how can we return to resiliency from a place of panic? Because what panic actually does is send us into fight or flight. It disturbs the whole system and it puts us in reaction mode. And when we're reacting, we're not taking the best actions. We're taking actions scurrying around sort of like a chicken with its head cut off, trying to do, do, do really quick, quick, quick to make this go, go, go. And that's not a place of conscious action. That's a place of reaction. Conscious action happens from a place of peace, from a place of accessing our, intu our intuition, diving deep into that place of eternal wisdom, and then taking inspired action. It can be really hard to not lose yourself to a state of panic when things happen that look scary. One of the tools I've learned to process panic and other source of heavy emotions is to use fire. So a lot of times what's causing the panic or causing a heavy emotion in your body is a limited belief. It's an unconscious belief that we're telling ourselves in the background and then that's sending us into a state of panic or a state of another heavy emotion. So what I like to do is get a strip of paper and write the limited belief on it, whatever that is. And then I want to take the energetic from my body and transfer it to the paper using my breath. So it would look sort of like this. And this is all with intention and breath work. Now we want to take the fire and burn that limited belief because it's not true. It's a lie. Once we can process the energetic out of our body and identify this limited belief that's causing this energetic within our bodies, we have an opportunity. We have an opportunity to drop into stillness, to drop into our intuition, and to ask, what is it that I need in this moment to nourish myself, to make myself feel safe again, to make myself comfortable and happy again? And then give yourself that gift. All of our thoughts create our experience of life, moment by moment. If you're feeling and thinking abundance, then abundance is coming to you. If you're feeling and thinking panic, then more situations that cause panic are coming to you. Panic is going to happen. It's part of the human experience. But with our consciousness, we can recognize it, shift it, and return to a state of peace a lot quicker. This is resiliency. How quickly can you get from an undesirable state back into a productive state? And it's not about ignoring the stimulus. The stimulus in this case being an unconscious belief. We're looking at the unconscious belief and we're processing it. 
and we're replacing it with a new, more productive belief. So my invitation to you today is to notice when you're going into emotional reaction and to spend a few moments and go deeper with that to see what is underneath it causing this reaction. What am I thinking that's bringing on this reaction? Take a moment to process it with fire, release it, and come up with a new agreement for yourself with expanded awareness. So enjoy this, enjoy playing with fire, and I look forward to seeing you next time.